Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The fancy YouTube algorithms will rank us higher and enable us to keep making great content for you. Thank you for your time, now let's get into the video. Okay coders, in this video we are going to add an additional spawner to our scene. So let's take a quick look at the current scene that, that we have. If I just press the play button here, we can see that we've got uh, a pivoting or just sort of a wobbling platform. I can click and instantiate a whole bunch of objects and they just sort of collide with it and bounce all over the place. So we've got a pretty cool scene going so far. Now for this video we won't really need to update our level a whole lot but we are going to create uh, another quick script now this new quick script is going to be a timed spawn script that instantiates an object over time with the delay in between instantiations. So let's go to our scripts folder which I already have open here and we're going to create a new C sharp script. And we can just call this timed spawn. Now let's open up this script and get to work. Okay so I've got my script open here and as per the usual we are just going to set up our variables first so we're gonna say we need a public game object and we're gonna call this spawn e we're gonna need a public bool stop spawning set it equal to false we're gonna need a public float for our spawn time and we're going to need a public float for our spawn delay. Okay, so those are the variables that we're actually going to need for this script. Now, usually this is at the point at which I delete the start function, but we're not going to get rid of the start function in this script. We're actually going to get rid of the update function. I know, shocking, right? It's like, how is this going to work without the update function? Well, we're about to find out. So we're actually going to create a new method here. We're going to say public void spawn object. Okay, and inside of this script we're going to instantiate. We're going to instantiate our spawn e at our transform dot position and our transform dot rotation. Okay, and then we also want to say if stop spawning, then we want to do something. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, if stop spawning is true, then basically what we're going to do is stop calling our spawn object. But of course, we're not calling our spawn object yet. So what we're going to do up inside of our start function is is create an invoke repeating call which is something that unity uses to call a method over and over with an initial time and then a delay after that so let's just write this out and we're gonna say invoke repeating and inside we're going to write out our method name and then we're going to put in our spawn time and our spawn delay. So this is going to call spawn object and this is the initial time it takes to actually spawn and this is the the delay in between instantiations after that. So inside of our if stop spawning we just want to call cancel invoke spawn object. Okay so this is a pretty sim simple script that's all there is to this. So now we're gonna go ahead and save that we're going to go back to our level and we actually have to make a couple of level updates here so we already have several spawners set up so if I zoom up you can see that we've got one two three four five actually set up so I'm gonna go ahead and select all five of these and I'm gonna add component and add the timed spawn script to it now I wanna actually stagger the start time and the delay time for each of these so I'm going to select one at a time and I'm actually gonna go ahead and do set up each one with a game object and all of the other var variables that we need. So the first one will go, uh, you can get the green, our spawn time will be one, and our spawn delay will be three. The next one, we're gonna drop in our yellow, 
our spawn time can be 1.5 and our spawn delay can be let's go with four and on to the next one red spawn time one spawn delay let's go with four again spawn spawner th three or four let's drop in our blue and now our spawn time we're gonna go with one again but this time we're gonna set it at 2.5 and now for our last one we're gonna drop our black prefab in and our spawn time is gonna be two with a spawn delay of three okay now I do want to change a few other things really quickly because this will be kind of hectic um, to look at so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our rotator script from our platform we're gonna go back to our main camera and let's add back in the orbit and the change camera targets now if you're following along um, and you haven't seen these other videos I'll be sure to link to the playlist and a couple of the other videos in the description so that you um, you know can get to this point in your own script and these aren't necessary to test a timed spawner It's just sort of you know making the level look a little cooler So let's go ahead and press the play button and test it out Okay, so we, obviously we, we are spawning So here we go. We can see that they're actually spawning and moving around. We've still got our wind pushing the objects off um, I don't really like how the uh, orbit's affecting this, so I'm going to take off the orbit. And now we'll just have the camera change targets so that we can see the actual spawning taking place. And we can see that the, the uh, red and black ones responded just about the same time, but now they're staggered. So this is something you can use to just sort of uh, instantiate objects at different times and things like that which is really cool and it's a very very simple script and you may have noticed I didn't set in a condition to actually set uh, stop spawning equal to true but you could come in and just click stop spawning if you wanted to just to make sure it's going to actually stop the spawning so if I turn all of these off Then they now, yep, so now we are done. That was, all of them are now turned off. Okay, so that's definitely pretty cool. You know, the fact that we can get some spawn or some timed spawning occurring that quickly, that easily, is really, really awesome, especially, you know, with um, you know, a lot of games now, you have sort of this uh, element of randomization occurring, so it's really helpful that we can create something like this this quickly. Of course, we do have a couple of videos, like I said before, in our playlist that can help you to randomize this spawner. I'll be sure to link to the playlist and the other videos in the description, like I said before, so definitely check those out. They're really great videos. They're, they're not that long, so they're definitely worth a watch. If you do enjoy these videos, be sure to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.